یہ جو واقعہ ہے اس ناٹ اے نارمل واقعہ نہیں ہے اس اے بری سیریس نیچر فاضل وزیر صاحب نے اپنا قصہ بیان کیا ہے اگر ان کے ساتھ ہوا وہ بھی غلط ہوا ہے میری آپ سے درخواست ہوگی فار دی سینکٹیٹی آف دی ہاؤس آپ ایک سپیشل کمیٹی بنائیں ان کی جو ریزولیشن آپ نے خود کہا ہے پریولیج موشن کا it should be thoroughly probed اور اس پر دیکھا جائے کیونکہ آپ نے کل تشریف فرما نہیں تھے جو پولیس کا یہ آپ نے رویہ رکھا ہے نا یہ بڑا ڈیفرنٹ ہو گیا ہے آپ ان کو تمگائے جرت دے دیں تمگائے بلکہ نشانے حیدر ہی دے دیں تاکہ بھرتے تو ہے نہیں ہے یہ تو میری آپ سے گزارش ہے this matter should be referred to a special committee to properly probe in جی رانا صاحب میں جناب سپیکر یہ بالکل اچھی بات آپ نے ہاؤس کی کر دی ہے میرے ساتھ خود یہ ایک واقعہ ہے کہ میں محبود رشید صاحب کی ملاقات کے لیے کیمپ جیل گیا تو بتا کر میں اندر تو چلا گیا تو انہوں نے کہا جی آپ کی ملاقات نہیں ہو سکتی only blood relations can meet اب مجھے you are a law knowing person is there any bar to meet a political prisoner کہ اس کا blood relations ہو I was refused to meet him تو اس پہ آپ کو direction دے دیں تاکہ اگر ایک فاضل میں بن جاتا ہے Let me check into it, Rana Sahib. These are the honorable members. And my information and information is that you have different jails which you have to go with a treatment as representative of public. They have to allow you some things. So we will ensure that you will ensure that. Before starting the proceeding and general discussion, there is a ruling which has been given. Thank you very much, sir. As a procedure and as a decorum, I cannot challenge your this uh, ruling. Magar, mera khata, Rule 38 mein aap ek cheez aur padh lete that incumbent uh, member was given a right of appeal for three days. Uske wo, wo teen din expire nahi huye the, expiry date pe. Us pe aapne koi isme vazahat nahi farmai hai. Kyunke he had the right for three days to appeal. Wo chaudha ko hota hai, padhra ko aap both le lete hain. میں ارز کروں آپ تشریف رکھیں I have given the ruling giving demise to the matter straight away I have acted under rule 6 sub rule 4 and rule 38 is applicable to election dispute only and that comes when a proper due process of tribunal concludes so this is not that case so I have acted under rule 6-4 یہ میں نے آپ کی اس convenience کے لیے کہ in any case If it is a matter before the court of law, this ruling could be scrutinized there. And if any right accrues, the member elect today and the person who has been declared wide ab initio, unka ko right infringe now. To secure the parallel level playing field, I have given this ruling, sir. What a pertinent nukta, Rana Aftab Ahmed Khan sir, member from PP 108. ان کا ایک بڑا پرٹیننٹ پوائنٹ تھا اس کی بڑی لیگل کونوٹیشن تھی اور وہ اس رولنگ کا میں نے کہا تھا کہ کیونکہ یہ کورٹ آف لاو میں ان کی پروسیڈنگ سپینڈنگ ہیں تو آئی ویل ایکچولی تو ہمارے پاس ایک فائر وال اویلیبل ہے جس میں ہم کہتے ہیں کہ ہاؤس کی پروسیڈنگ کسی کورٹ آف لاو میں سبجیکٹ میٹر نہیں ہو سکتی اور ہم اس کو بھی جیلس لی گارڈ کرتے ہیں بٹ یہ کیونکہ نیچر اس کی تھو� تو اس پروسیڈنگ کو ہم نے اس فائر وال کو خود بریچ کی ہے اگر وہ اپوزیشن میمبر اس کو اپنی پروسیڈنگ کو لے کر جانا چاہیں کورٹ آف لاو میں تو فور دیٹ پرپس میں نے رانہ افتاب احمد خان صاحب کی پوائنٹ آف آرڈر پہ ایک رولنگ ریزرف کی تھی it has been reserved three four days back تو یہ ہم ریڈنگ آؤٹ فور دی کنوینینس آف دی ہاؤس اور I would say to the secretary assembly کہ کوپی شوڈ بی گیون ٹو the uh, Mr. Aftab Ahmed Khan and accordingly if it needs to be given in the court uh, this ruling shall dispose of the point of order raised by Honorable Member Mr. Aftab Ahmed Khan MPAPP 108 during the sitting held on March 15 B. Sochobis. Brief background of this ruling is that on March 13, 2024 the Election Commission of Pakistan ECP issued a notification withdrawing AB initio its earlier notification dated February 17 B. Sochobis to the extent of Mr. Umair Vasi Chaudhary, PP100, and declaring Mr. Khan Bahadur as the returned candidate from PP100 as a result of a recount by the concerned returning officer. 
on March 15, 2024, when Mr. Khan Bahadur, returned candidate from PPXO, attended the sitting of the assembly to make the oath, Mr. Aftab Ahmed Khan raised a point of order that the speaker must not administer the oath to the above-mentioned member-elect until the expiry of the period of limitation for appeal as mentioned in Rule 38 of Rules of Procedure of the Provincial Assembly of Punjab, 1997, the rules. However, having reserved my detailed ruling in this regard and referring to Rule 6, Sub-Rule 4 of the rules, I administered oath to the member-elect pursuant to the said notification of the ECP. Now, therefore, in exercise of the powers vested in me under Rule 209 of the rules, I, Malik Muhammad Ahmed Khan, the Speaker, announce the following detailed ruling on the issue as under. Pursuant to the notification, second notification issued by the Election Commission of Pakistan, dated March 13, Bisu Chobis, the member-elect from the PP100, Mr. Khan Bahadur, attended the sitting of assembly held on March 15, Bisu Chobis, for making oath. He had been declared result as, a, as, a, as recounting of votes of, against Mr. Umair Vasi Chaudhary, the previously notified member from PP100, when I called upon Mr. Khan Bahadur to make oath as member, the Honorable Mr. Aftab Ahmed Khan raised the point of order that Mr. Speaker could not administer the oath to the member-elect referring to the Rule 30 of the Procedures of the Provincial Assembly in Mr. Stanwi of the Punjab. The rule, the rule 38 is reproduced below for convenience. No need to read. Honorable Mr. Aftab Ahmed Khan, MPA PP108, also raised the point that if Mr. Speaker had administered oath to him, what would be the fate of unseated member from PP100 if a court of law decides in his favor subsequently? Hon Honorable Mr. Aftab Ahmed Khan also raised the point, and it needs a serious consideration. I have given detailed consideration to the issue and surrounding the facts and circumstances in light of the precedents, relevant provisions of the Constitution, the rules and also the rules of other assemblies, as well as the prevalent practice in the various legislatures. I have reached the conclusion that having received the duly issued notification by the competent authority, i.e. the Election Commission of Pakistan, I was under obligation to administer the oath to the member-elect under Rule 6.4 of the rules. Honorable Mr. Aftab Ahmed Khan did not produce or quote any document or restraining order in respect of the notification of the ECP dated March Tera B. Sochobis, hence on receipt of the said notification, I was bound to administer oath to above-mentioned member-elect from PP 100 in terms of Rule 6.4 of the rules, as is required under the law. Rules, parliamentary practices and conventions, the Rule 6.4 imposes an unambiguous duty upon the presiding officer, a person elected to the assembly who has not already made the oath, may do so before the assembly at any time subject to the prior intimation to the Speaker or to the Secretary. Secondly, Rule 6 does not prohibit or places any specific bar or restriction upon the presiding officer. In fact, the tenor of the rules in that the presiding officer does not have such discretion vis-a-vis -vis administering of the oath of membership after the duly issuance of the notification by the ECP. If the issue of administering the oath arises, the presiding officer is bound by the self-contained provisions of the rules, which in this case is Rule 6. There is no other relevant provision in the rules of law 